Question one. Please introduce yourself and the country you are going to talk about. Uh, my name is Sarah and I will speak about England. Question two. Your reaction to the culture you were exposed to. When I came, it was quite sh shocking for me. It was very different than what I'm, what I'm used to see in a daily basis. I grew up in Saudi Arabia and I am from a Yemeni uh, origin. And when I first came here, it like everything was different, you know, looking at different from different backgrounds, different countries, uh, how they dress, the school, um, everything that I was exposed to was new to me as I haven't visited any European country before when I was a kid, so it was very new to me. Question three, how did the new culture impact your cultural identity? I think with time, I became more open-minded in terms of understanding what are different cultures about and what different religions and their practice are like. Uh, did they affect my culture? Uh, with time, yes, as, as in to adapt the environment, maybe the way I dress changed uh, with time to fit the society. Uh, I still kept my scarf on and I never felt, uh, I never felt uh, that I had to take it off. There was a lot of Muslim community around me as well. So in a way, I felt like I can manage to keep my identity uh, as, as a Muslim. And uh, in England here in Britain, there are a lot of mosques as well and in school, we had a lot of students who are Muslim as well, so they were um, they were serving halal food, and there were time for us to pray, and we managed to fast, and we were like a big group of us in there that we fast together in Ramadan. So that hasn't really affected my religion and my practice. Uh, in terms of culture in the house, we um, we kept the same culture in a way. We speak uh, our first language to keep the language, and we don't lose it and uh, we've got the food and you know things that we had but we've also adapted to the new culture here question four list some of the things you struggled with when you first arrived due to the cultural differences i would say because in my schooling we were uh, female only so the school would have been a school only for girls and the teachers would be female and the teacher is a female <laughs> So we were not used to mixing as such, and that's, that was in Riyadh back in the days. So when I came here, it was quite different for me, and I struggled to manage at the beginning. Um, how do I socialize with boys? How do I, how do I, uh, how do I speak the language? I think the main two things that impact um, impact my life were the language barrier and the differences that I saw within you know free mixing and all of that um, as I haven't I haven't I wasn't able to speak a word of English then so understanding what people were saying to me understanding the subjects um, being able to catch up with everybody in the school was such a struggle question five last question how did you adapt to living in the new environment with time, I think, I have managed to adapt. It didn't take me long and I didn't feel, um, I didn't feel strange or weird here. I've managed to feel part of the community because as I said, in England, you will see a lot of different cultures, especially where you are in England. Uh, there are part of England where you will see a lot of different races um, living together in one city which sometimes really helps because uh, everybody is uh, understand and you know understands other cultures and they're more open minded to how different you are from them so that was good in a way and uh, yeah i think i just took my time and it mainly was the language every time i learned more how to speak 
I broke the barriers between me and other people to explain the differences that we had.